Indian Territory, September 13, 1864. Confederate Brigadier Generals Richard Montgomery Ganot and Stan Waitie meet at Camp Pike in the Choctaw Nation to discuss Waitie's planned raid north of the Arkansas River. The two leaders have combined their forces in what is hoped will be a lightning strike into the northern part of the Indian nations now under Union control. Spies have informed the southern leaders of a large Union wagon supply train which will soon leave Fort Scott, Kansas en route to Fort Gibson, Indian Territory. Situated between the two forts is the halfway point known as the Cabin Creek Station. Federal forces have built a stockade and stationed 170 soldiers of the 2nd Indian Home Guard Regiment to protect the crossing of the Texas Road at Cabin Creek. The mere mention of Cabin Creek must have brought bitter memories to Waitie. On July 1st and 2nd, 1863, Waitie's command of 2,000 men had been routed by a Union force made up of the 1st Kansas Colored Infantry, the 6th Kansas Cavalry, and the Indian Home Guards. The Federal force had placed artillery at strategic points on a ridge overlooking the Cabin Creek Ford, which ripped the southern lines on the opposite bank to shreds. The fighting was brutal. Waitie later called the first battle of Cabin Creek the most severest fight of any fought in the country. It is indeed ironic that on the bluffs of Cabin Creek, where Stan Waitie was once handed his worst defeat, he would return to the same battleground to gain his most brilliant victory in what has been called one of the most daring raids of the American Civil War.